Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome to another episode of Driver's Paddock. Today we're at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park Grand Prix Track and we are with Ontario Time Attack Lapping. Next to me is my beloved BMW M2 competition. And last year I actually did not drive this car at this track because I had so many issues. I blew a damper, I had motor issues, I had to get my transmission replaced, but here we are today. I picked Ontario Time Attack Lapping to sort of test and tune this car because they do things very differently. In the, BMO, in the morning, everybody gets a practice session, right? We get to sort of set a baseline, and from there, the amazing smart people up in the tower will grid us according to our lap time. They'll do some magic to make sure that you do not hit anybody in front of you, and no one behind you hits you. And so, that's the perfect place and environment for me to test and tune this car, see how fast I can go without any traffic. I've been to far too many lapping days, 20 minute sessions, yes, they're long, but I can't even get one clean lap in. And so this is why I picked Ontario Time Attack Lapping. Let's see what we can do today. Let's go. everybody not bad 129.5 on a warm-up and uh, I'm so stoked to drive this car it is so much fun it is so good and so uh, you know where the time is is you know entry of turn two turn four of course entry into eight uh, and entry into one so I'll, I'll find the time and uh, I'll be really really happy if I can get into the low 28s or high 27s I think that'll be a really really good time forecast is for a little bit of rain we had a couple specs come down during my session uh, but it's okay regardless it's gonna be a really really good day they just finished gridding 
As you can see, Kevin announced uh, sort of what's going to happen. And so the fastest cars are going to be in a group. And uh, not only that, they will grid them from fastest to slowest and give an appropriate gap uh, such that no one hits the person in front of them and no one behind you will catch up to you. And so whether you're a really fast car or a really slow car, whether you're in like uh, NA Miata, uh, it doesn't matter. They're going to figure it out. The smart people doing the math will make sure that nobody hits traffic. So I'm really excited to get some really clean laps in my favorite car in the entire world. Let's go.
one click softer rear compression. We're gonna come back out here, we're gonna send it. FYI, I haven't even set tire pressure. Let's touch the 27s today, guys. Fucking love this car. I got power over steer wherever I want it. It is so, so much fun. It is so balanced. Oh my god. I'm so pumped. So everybody, I'm having an absolute blast out there, as you can see, and you know how I operate. I sort of feel out the track, see what the conditions are like, and honestly, this car is like my battle buddy. It responds to all of my inputs. It even has really good lift off oversteer in you know turn turn uh, five. Uh, I have power oversteer on demand anywhere I want. Uh, it's super super balanced with the corners, the supers. It doesn't really understeer at all, right? And so I am really connected through my gas pedal to the rear axle. Uh, the differential in these cars is slightly laggy, but I can work with it. I, I absolutely love this car. And just kind of sliding it around in, in you know, the last corner is five a little bit, uh, just to have a little bit of fun. It, it's so controlled, it's so balanced. I love this car. And so we did a 128.5. I'm you know, half a second away from a 27. Uh, let's see if we can get a 127 in my car. And this car right now has 450 wheel horsepower, has a downpipe and a tune. Uh, shout out to MTech Auto for the amazing linear tune and for my throttle mapping that is also extremely linear. So if you have a BMW, check them out. Uh, has AP brakes, it has Nitron uh, three-way adjustable suspension, a cage. Uh, the car weighs 3450 as is. Uh, and all the suspension arms are stock except the rear SPL toe arm and has front uh, middleway monoballs. But otherwise it's, you know, I wouldn't say stock, but it, 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 it's not as crazy modified as some people might think. So it has a very small rear wing. I have my, my duct tape, you know, broken carbon fiber lip in the front there. Uh, but I think with a relatively uh, stock-ish M2 competition, I can do very similar time. Like give me tires, give me pads, uh, you know, give me a tune, give me suspension, and it will be very, very similar. So let's see if we can get that 127. If I can, I'll be super, super happy. If I can't, that's okay too. And literally I'm not hitting much traffic at all. I had to make one pass today on a Camaro and, and that was it. I don't even see anybody on track. Uh, and so I'm having an absolute blast. So amazing place to come test and tune, amazing place to come set your PBs. Next session coming up now.
So everybody, I'm having an absolute blast at Ontario Time Attack Lapping Day. There's been so much quality track time. And whenever I go to the track, like I would hate to be stuck behind people, stuck in traffic, wasting tires, wasting pads, wasting fuel. But every lap I'm getting today is quality. And that's why I was able to actually put down my PB, a 127.6 in the loop, a 127.7 on, uh, on my aim. And so I'm thrilled, I'm so happy. And I know there's a little bit more time, like I think a low 127 or even a high 126 is possible, but I think the time is in entry speeds and in, in one, two, and four. Carrying is a little bit more speed, a little bit more high commitment, cleaning up my exit in five, you know, eight, nine, 10, cleaning up just a little bit here and there, it's possible. Uh, and so we have two more sessions to go. Uh, I'm gonna take a few friends out on some rides and maybe we'll see if we can dip into the 127s again, but I am so thrilled, so happy that we got such good clean air here at the track. Um, I couldn't even see anybody in front. I never saw anyone behind me. And it, again, it's just been an absolute blast. Shout out to Ontario Time Attack Lapping. If you're looking to test into your car or set a PB, this is absolutely the place to go. So everybody, we are on pit lane right now. And as you can see, Ontario Time Attack actually grids each uh, individual by lap time so that the car in front will have no traffic and the car behind will not have no traffic. Um, you can see all these cones, one through seven. So we actually only have seven cars on track. It's absolutely an amazing day. I hit my PB, got that 127 and pretty deep into the 127s too. We'll see if we can follow that up with the, another 127 or if we can even go faster.
rotation on the throttle. Oh. for next time right oh not a car on track nobody in front of me nobody behind me oh. talk about full sand everybody so this car actually belongs to my friend one of my battle buddies this is Kyle Kyle how's your day been going it's great. Ontario Time Attack is great. Nice, nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's all That's all we have to really say. But yeah. tell me about your experience today and uh, the traffic. And you hit a PB today, right? Yeah, we did a PB today, 135.7. Dude, that's freaking crazy. You did 35.7 in a GTI? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Did you hit any traffic all day? Zero traffic. Zero. Zero traffic. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Congrats on your PB, man. That's crazy. All right, I got my, my Camaro buddies here. Sal's here filling up. Hey, Sal, you hit your PB today, right? Yes, sir. Tell me about the day. Great day, well organized, great gridding, so I had room for empty laps. Uh, 31.9. 31.9 today? Yeah. Oh my, congratulations, so, man. Yeah, you got you. Maz over here. Hello. Another Camaro? Yes. Dude, how was your day? Excellent. Yeah, the whole event was organized really well. A uh, lot of lapping times in laps. And uh, yeah. You also hit your PB, right? Yes, I did. What time did you do today? Um, not as fast as Sal, not even close, but 131, 135, 115. Dude, that's, ama that's an yes. amazing time. Yes. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Yeah, Thank great you. day, eh? Yeah. Amazing. Awesome. So we are here with Acid in his 06 325, it's a manual, and uh, it's his first time with Ontario Time Attack today, is that correct? It is. Yeah, tell me about your experience today. Well, it was awesome. Um, uh, I, I feel like once you've done Moss for GP, no track really holds a candle to it, and uh, OT did a really good job, you know, organizing and uh, had very minimal traffic. Even though we have cars like these Porsches and these super fast Golf R's, rich kids, I tell you. Um, <laughs> You know, I never had an issue with traffic. Nobody backing me up or you know pulling ahead of me. It was it was always nice and uh, people are very courteous, very very kind. Everybody's willing to help. Everybody's willing to help a hand. Um, I made some good friends. I think I met a few people like to see next time, like yourself. Absolutely. Uh, is that a great time? That's amazing. And so, do you need a Porsche or a fancy car to come out and hang out with OTA? No, I just uh, get yourself a $7,000 Beamer that's basically dead underneath, but uh, just drive it hard and uh, have a good time. Amazing. The point is, everyone is welcome here, whether you drive a Porsche or, or an older car. Not that this is not a really, really cool car. It's a manual 325, you said? It is. Amazing. But the point is, everyone is welcome, whether the car is super fast or not. Uh, please come hang out with us.